you are getting, and so am I, every journalist is getting a lot of email right now pointing out to what they claim are uh, falsehoods, uh, misleading statements, lies, if you will, that were made by uh, Paul Ryan. And, and, and I guess those fact-checking is only about uh, just getting ready to begin. They needed hundreds of billions more, so they just took it all away from Medicare. $716 billion funneled out of Medicare by President Obama. It's bogus. I hate to put a fine point on it. Benefits to seniors actually increase under Obamacare. To your Medicare yes. point, the Ryan budget actually also assumed the same the $716 billion in Medicare savings. In Janesville, where we were about to lose a major factory, right there at that plant, candidate Obama said, I believe that if our government is there to support you, this plant will be here for another hundred years. As it turned out, that plant didn't last another year. One thing Paul Ryan talked about was that GM plant that closed in Janesville. Uh, that plant was shut down under the Bush administration. The stimulus was a case of political patronage, corporate welfare, and cronyism at their worst. And now we learn that the anti-stimulus crusader Ryan, in fact, asked for stimulus money for two companies. That's something he's consistently denied, but yesterday was forced to concede the bottom point. He created a new bipartisan debt commission. They came back with an urgent report. He thanked them, sent them on their way, and then did exactly nothing. He also criticized the president for doing nothing about the Bull Simpson plan. He was a member of the Bull Simpson Commission, and he voted against it. I thought it was a very constricted, very negative, very nasty speech.